Price fixing is a is a serious crime, Doc. You can go to jail for that. And I want to be out sure I understand your testimony. Who are you accusing of price fixing? Tyson, the large meat packer. Okay, who the else? Big, the big who four meat packers are who all else? currently That's one. under. Who else? Walmart, Albertsons, Walmart's price Kroger. Fixing. What? Wait, wait, I didn't say they were. I, th- I, I said taking. You a just look. said they were. You can't come here and say and imply they're price fixing and then say they're price fixing. That's a serious allegation. You can be sued for defamation. I said we should take a close look now, at the company. Let me go back. Where... I want to be sure I understand your testimony. In a congressional hearing, farmer Mr. Maxwell faced questions about price fixing. He mentioned companies under DOJ investigation but avoided direct accusations. Dr. Owens pressed for specifics, citing the seriousness of allegations. Maxwell maintained he suggested investigations. Owens then discussed fiscal policy's impact on inflation, citing Biden administration spending. The tense exchange highlighted complexities in addressing price fixing and fiscal concerns. Thank you, Madam Chair. Interesting questions. Um, Mr. Maxwell, are, you're a farmer, is that right? Yes, Senator. <coughs> Excuse me. You used to be a farmer or you still are? Yes, uh, Senator, I uh, grew up on a farm. I'm a fourth generation Missouri farmer. Mm-hmm. Um, my brother does most of the farming. I do this activity uh, more. I do have uh, degrees in uh, ag economics and a law degree, uh, but uh, I still actively farm. I've got over 100 ewes on the farm. Uh, we have uh, hogs uh, uh, production. Uh, we're kind of the uh, diversified traditional family farm type operation. Lease out some of the land to the neighbor boy. Yeah. Well, America was born on a farm, so th- th- thank you for that. Yeah, thank you, Senator. Uh, Dr. Owens, you, you talked about uh, in order to commit a crime, you have to have means, motive, and opportunity. Is that right? Yes, sir. Well, and you, you, you have suggested that it's not an optimal, optimal situation to have. Well, strike that. Let me just get after it here. What crime are you accusing the four major food companies of? Price gouging, sir. Okay. You, you think they're price fixing? In some cases, absolutely. Okay. Name the four companies that you are accusing of price fixing. In the grocery sector or more broadly? The four you've been talking about. I mean, so I think... um, Name me every company that you think is price fixing in violation of the antitrust laws. Yeah, I mean, so the the most recent example that I think is worth considering is is Agristat. Yes, ma'am, but but if if you don't mind, we'll come back and do the examples. Name me the companies you're accusing of price fixing? Well, the first one is Agristats, with the, which the Department of Justice has sued uh, for, for price fixing. Who else? Um, you know, in the grocery sector, we've got, um, you know, we've got Walmart, we've got Kroger. Um, Walmart, Walmart is price fixing. No, I, I haven't accused them of price fixing. What you I just what did. I've, no, what I've said is that they are able no, to expand, expand right, their market. Let me start over here. I want you to, you, you, uh, price fixing is a, is a serious crime. Doc, you can go to jail for that. And I want to be out sure I understand your testimony. Who are you accusing of price fixing? Yeah, look, what my testimony clearly states. No, tell me which companies you're accusing of price fixing. You said some were price fixing, and I want to know which ones. Yeah, I mean, I may report them myself. The, the company that's absolutely under investigation by the DOJ. Which ones are price fixing? I think the I think the Federal Trade Commission and the Department of Justice should take a close look at the four major grocers. They should take a close which, look but at tell the four me, major meat you, packers. There are just currently my question, pen, there's which pending company, litigation. Which companies are price fixing? Um, Tyson is a great example. Uh, the large who? Tyson, the large meat packer. Okay, who the else? Big, the big four meat packers are all currently under. Who else? That's one. Under, who else? Um, like I, like I said, I think looking at the four major grocers makes sense. Wh- which, in this setting. which four are price fixing? Walmart, Albert, Walmart's price Kroger. Fixing. What? Well, wait, let me, I didn't say I, they were. I, th- I, I said taking. You a just look. said they were. You can't come here and say and imply they're price fixing and then say they're price fixing. That's a serious allegation. You can be sued for defamation. I said we should take a close look. Now, at let, the let me go back. Where, I want to be sure I understand your testimony. Are you telling me? Right here today, you're accusing Walmart of price fixing. I'm not personally accusing Walmart of price fixing. I am suggesting that- Who are that you accusing of price fixing? 
That's a serious charge. Neither my written testimony nor my oral testimony makes explicit legal claims. So you're not accusing anybody of price fixing? No, I have pointed out that the Department of Justice is currently looking Who at price Who are you accusing by of Agri price fixing? Why won't you answer my question? Who are you accusing of price fixing? I'm, I'm pretty sure I have answered your question. No, you either. haven't. Just tell me the names of the companies, one by one. What's the first company that you're accusing of price fixing? I, I've mentioned Agristats is currently in Agra what? Agristats. All right, who's number two? I said uh, uh, Tyson's is currently Tyson's under investigation is, for is price, price fixing. fixing. Yeah. Who's the, number three? I've also said that I think the Department of Justice and the FTC should take a close look at who's the number three? major grocery Who's number retailers. three? Is Walmart price fixing? I think that they should take a look at Is Walmart price fixing? They should take a look at it. Is Walmart price fixing? I can't currently answer that question. I said that the Department of Justice... You won't answer that question. No, I How said about that... Albertsons? Is Albertsons price fixing? The Department of Justice and the Federal Trade Commission... Is Albertsons price fixing? Should take a close look at that. Is Albertsons price fixing? Again, I think the Department of Justice should take a close look. You don't want to say. No, no I, I mean, look, I'm not at the FTC. I'm not at the DOJ. Yes, ma'am, but you make, you've accused job these companies invest. of breaking the law, and I think that, that you ought to have the courage to say in front of God and country what you believe. Now, you either do or you don't. Look, I believe that when companies get larger and larger, I understand and larger, what you believe, it becomes but I'm easier and waffling. easier. You're easier like to a bank catfish. Okay, it's it's easy to coordinate price hikes. Doctor Antoni, Doctor Antoni, I think it's been well established that if we discovered life on Mars tomorrow, Joe Biden would send it money. To what extent has his deficit spending contributed to inflation? And do you know of any of these companies? Would you care to accuse someone of a crime here today? And if anybody else would, just let me know. If somebody is price fixing, I want to know. I'll report them myself. And I'm going to want to see your evidence. Listen. Otherwise, you subject yourself to defamation. But mm -hmm. let me go back to my original question. What was it, Mars? <laughs> was it Mars or Jupiter? I forgot. Is the amount of money that President Biden has insisted on spending contributed to inflation? Duh. What's your answer to that? Well, Senator, regarding the price fixing, I have no evidence because there is no evidence of that, so I can't provide that to you. But to answer the, uh, the hypothetical on Mars... Uh, absolutely, that would add to inflation. And yes, the deficit spending uh, under this president, but really under any president, doesn't matter that it's Joe Biden in particular in the White House doing it. Uh, any person who did, w if any person did what he did, it would have the exact same effect, which is this massive run up in prices. Because again, it's not that things are more valuable, it's that the dollar is worth less. So it takes more dollars to buy exactly what you used to. Uh, and if you look at, again, the Biden administration's own data, these aren't my figures, these are figures from the Biden administration. They show that prices paid by businesses and prices paid by consumers have gone up almost exactly the same, about 19 percent during his tenure. And so this idea that, that somehow uh, the, the prices that consumers, that you, I, that uh, all of the people that you represent are paying are somehow the, the cause of anything other than costs simply being passed on to them. The data simply don't support that. Okay. How about you, Doc? Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, no evidence. No, I'm not accusing anyone of price fixing. Um, are you a lawyer by chance? I'm sorry? Are you a lawyer by chance? Oh, no, I'm not. Uh, yeah. Just an economist. Okay. What happens if you accuse somebody of price fixing and they they didn't do it? I probably don't want to be that person. You got good insurance? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not. Not doing that. Okay. Go ahead. Um, as far as the fiscal, uh, the fiscal stimulus stuff, you know, that's a standard uh, economic model. And you can go back and look, um, multiple people, Olivier Blanchard, Olivier Blanchard is one, um, some of the upper bound estimates on how big the shortfall in demand was after COVID and the shutdowns. Um, so like one of the largest upper bound estimates that I've seen is about $680 billion, just the COVID package of 1.9 trillion. That's already almost three times the size of that. So that, that's,
You want to go now? Sure. All right. Let the record reflect that the senator from Louisiana is far more loquacious than the Baptist preacher. <laughs> and that's a high standard. Uh, <laughs> that's senator my friend. Warnock. 